Hi. Sometimes you want to grab a frame from a video and have it freeze for several seconds. There are a few ways to do this. I'm using Magix Movie Edit Pro 2019. If you have Magix Video Pro X, you can do even more by using the project folder. The first way, which is also the old way, is to export the image. Select the image in the video that you want, go to File, Export, and at the bottom you can export to a BMP file or a JPEG file. I'll select JPEG and the export screen pops up. I'll check the export location and change the title to DOG1 and then export. This method is good if you want to keep the image for another project or do something to it, like modify it in a graphics program. I have the folder open in the media pool and I now see DOG1 added as a JPEG. I can drag this onto the timeline and position it at the playback marker, which I haven't moved yet. To insert it, select the object on track 1 and click on the scissors to split the clip. Switch to mouse mode for a single track. Grab the object at the right of the split point and move to the right to line up with the end of the inserted still image. Switch back to mouse mode for a single object. Grab the still image and move it straight up onto track 1. Hmm. Now that's a lot of work just to get a frozen frame in there. I'll check the properties and I see that it's 7 seconds long. This is because under File, Settings, Program Settings, the standard picture length is 7 seconds. The second and easiest way is to select the clip, go to the image that you want to freeze, right click on it, and select Insert Still Image at the playback marker. And there it is. The video clip is split and the frozen image appears. Check the length with the range bar and it's about 7 seconds long. Check the properties and it shows 7 seconds in length. There's just one thing to watch out for. All objects to the right of the insertion point will move to the right by an amount equal to the length of the inserted still image. If you don't need the right hand part of the video, delete it. Same with the left hand part. The frozen image can be lengthened or shortened by dragging to the right. The image can be moved somewhere else if you want. The third way, if you want to set an exact length rather than the default picture length, is to put the playback marker on the frame that you want and place the in range marker, that is the start range marker, by clicking on the range bar area or using the shortcut I. This also sets the location of the frame to be used. Use the right mouse button and click on the range bar somewhere to the right. Use the left mouse button, drag the right end of the range bar to the length that you want. Watch the length shown in the range bar. When you have it, right click on the object and you now have access to Insert Still Image in Range. Select this and you now have the still image the length that you wanted. Of course, you can change the length by dragging the left or right side of the still image. Simple, no? Now here's a bonus for users of Magix Video Pro X. I'll do the same thing as before. Position the playback marker on the frame to be frozen. Set a range of about 6 seconds long. Right click, insert still image in range. And there it is. Now this next part is not available in Movie Edit Pro, only in Video Pro X. Right click on the still image object and select Insert Object in Project Folder. It gets inserted into the project folder with 001 appended to the file name. I'll change the name of this to dog-stillimage. I can now delete the object from the timeline, but the entry remains in the project folder as dog-stillimage. I'll delete the second part of the split video and extend the right end out to recover my full video length. Whenever I need my still image, I can drag or insert it onto the timeline wherever and whenever I want. No need to export to a JPEG to be able to use this later. I'll put some effects on the still image, left and right fade, and add in a Pixel and Creative Ease uh, flow texture effect. Now the clip has some effects. I can right click on this and insert it into the project folder and it shows up as dog still image 001. I'll change the name by removing the 001 and adding with effects. I'll delete the clip from the timeline. 
So I'll continue on editing, say add in another video clip, trim the end off, and moving to the end of the timeline, I'll insert the dog still image with effects from the project folder. And there it is. The clip is there with the effects because the effects are saved with the clip inserted into the project folder. Likewise, I can add in the other clip from the project folder, the dog without effects. This is one of the beauties of using VPX with a project folder. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time, make movies.